Welcome everybody to another episode of Getting Over the Hump. It's already Wednesday, my favorite day of the week. It's your boy, Phoenix Bourne. I'm going to introduce episode two of season two of The Word. Last week we talked about the past. It was a really cool concept, so if you missed it, check out last week's episode and you can view it from there. This week's episode, the word is crossroad. Now, you may be thinking there could be many ways of it. The definition I found the most is the point at which an important choice has to be made. That I like that definition the most because it really ties into what you have to go through in your journey not only once, but more than once. The analogy I like using, especially for crossroads, whenever I help out friends or family, is like this. There's a person walking down wherever they're at, whether they're in a park, on a road, so on and so forth. They're contemplating on something in their life. And as they're walking down that path, they come across a point where now the road splits off into two directions. Now, this person has to say, okay, if I go down path to the right, my life turns out this way. If I go down to the path to the left, it's going to turn out a different way. And that's what a crossroad moment is, is when you're walking down wherever you're at, whether you're either driving or you're even flying, you're going down this path and now there's a moment in time where you have to make a decision. Usually people tend to view this in education. So usually after high school, they'll say, Hey, I want to go to a four year college or technical college or some type of education in sense of like certificates. So they have to make a decision. They either go down this road of studying or they don't, they just continue working the job they're in, whatever they're doing. There's nothing wrong when it comes to making a decision, as long as you know how to make this decision. Some people choose to go to school, some people don't. If you decide to go to school, then you gotta weigh out the the pros and cons of cost of living, studies, tuition, transportation, so on and so forth. You are studying a specific industry. If you decide not to go down that path and you say, you know what, school is not for me, I'd rather just work, well then you're gonna figure out how do I move up the company, the company ladder, how I'm able to get better, how do I increase my skill set, how do I make more income? So there's two ways to look at it. And it doesn't even apply to just education. What if you're opening a business? You can either start one or you don't start one. There's many ways around it. That's what a crossroad is. It's a moment in time where you have to make this decision. So when you're getting ready to make the decision for the path you choose, you have to weigh out its options. You have to list out the pros and cons and figure out what works best for you. If path A doesn't work, in terms of it's taking too much of your time, or maybe you think you're not ready yet in terms of the resources wise, or maybe you just can't dedicate your full effort on it, then maybe it's not a good idea. If Pat B says, you know what, it may be a little bit of a struggle, but I know I can pull this off. It'll take some work. It'll take a little bit of resources, a little bit of time, a small sacrifice to push forward. Then you go down that path. Only you know the path that you, de that you desire. Only you know yourself the best. You can ask for a second opinion, like a friend or a family member, but it's just a second opinion. Remember, you're the one making this decision, not the other person saying you should do this. Because like I just mentioned, that person doesn't know you too well in terms of what your goals and dreams are. So you keep pushing. Now, once you start going down that path, you just go. Don't look back, don't look left, don't look right. Just keep pushing forward. If you ever notice when there's a crossroad, the path starts splitting and as you keep walking, it gets wider and wider. It's intended for you to not look at that other option. Once you make your decision, just go because you're gonna encounter another crossroad later on. It, that's, how, that's how it is, it's a journey. Once you get to that second moment, then maybe you can consider, you know what, this path I chose, what wasn't the exact one, maybe I should go to the other option. Let me list those out, see how it is. Or the path that you're on is working for you. There is a bit of a struggle, we all struggle, but it's getting me to where I wanna go. And that's how you view crossroads. They're not set in stone, they're just moments in your life where you have to make an important decision. So remember, crossroads are gonna happen. 
be on your first day, halfway into the year, maybe two years later, they'll keep adding up. And as you keep encountering these moments, it'll become easier for you to not only deal with, but also navigate. So don't see these crossroads as a bad thing. See it as a learning opportunity for you to grow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. If you think somebody needs to hear this, go share the video to others. Next week on Wednesday, I'll release episode three, being the third word for it. And as always, take care, stay safe, and have a good day. Bye.